already know. Now this is my file. I'm taking out my file on whales. And I'm thinking about, here's what I already know. I know that whales live in the ocean. So that's one thing that I might use to help me understand what I'm reading. I also know that whales have big tails. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're right with this. I also know that whales have big tails. <laughs> it does rhyme. I know that whales sometimes come out of the water. Sometimes they live in the water, and sometimes they come out of the water. I also know that whales make sounds. They sort of have whale talk. Turn and share with the neighbor what you notice about my schema. Is my file <coughs> on whales empty? Or do I know some things about whales? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to slowly get out your file on whales. I want you to put it in front of you. I want you to open it up. And I want you to tell me about your scheme. I want you to tell me what do you know about whales. Because we're going to be reading this book together. So we're going to need my schema. We're going to need your scheme. What do you know about whales? Do you have anything you'd like to add that you know about whales that are going to help us understand what Sylvia wants us to know about whales? Yes? Whales. So you also knew that whales make sounds. That was in your file too. Very nice. How about? Oh, okay. I'm going to put that here. Would you add that to what we know? Would you add that to our schema file? Very nice. And do you see how that file is open? Because just because I know it, I got to use that information. So I got to open it up and I got to see what's inside because I'm going to use it in just a minute. What do you know? When they talk in the water, and bubbles come up from the water. Nice. I did not know that. So not only when they talk, there are bubbles that come up. Would you put that and add it to our schema of what we're going to use to help us when we read this book? Very nice. Okay, what do you know? They, they can breathe out of <coughs> the elephant in a hole. Oh, there's a hole. There's a hole in a whale? Okay, so I did not know that. So there's a hole, and they use it to breathe. Okay, it's very water nice. Oh, so there's water that comes out of the hole. Mm -hmm. So there's water in the hole. Okay. Put that up there. Okay, now remember I said that good readers use what they know. So we're not done. We're just starting as reading. Here's what I also know. Can everybody know everything about every topic they're reading? No, that's impossible. So every time I read, I know that there are things I know, but I also know that there's going to be new learning, things I didn't know. So I'm going to record new learning on this part of my file so that I keep those straight, what I know and what's new, what I know and what's new. So let me show you that on a couple pages, and then we'll do that same thinking work together. So here I go. This is all in my brain, and I'm thinking about it. So if there's something different, that will be new learning. Our whale watching trip. We went whale watching last year on vacation. Whale watching excursion. Departure times. 8, 10, 31, 3. So I'm thinking that excursion means that's their trip. Mark tells us about whales. When we were all aboard the boat, Mark told us about whales. He said we were going to see one kind of whale the humpback whale. Mark said the humpback whale got its name 
because of its dorsal fin that's curved like a hump. Was that in my schema before? So what do I, what is that? That's new learning. So I've got to write that down. <coughs> so any whale that has a hump on it, because we knew about the hole, but the hump on it has what is called a door sole fin. Wow. That is so new learning for me. I'm going to put that right here. I'm going to read one more page and then we're going to work on this work together. Soon the boat set off and headed out to sea. Mark said, although whales live in the sea, they need to breathe air. We already knew that whales breathe air, didn't we? In their so is that new learning? Yeah. That's not new learning. Suddenly, I heard a loud hiss. Did we already know that whales talked? Yeah. Made sounds? Yep. Then I saw water shoot into the air. Did we already know that? Yeah. Yes, we did. Mark said it was the humpback whale spouting. Hmm. Take a look. Turn to the neighbor. What is spouting? Is that something we already knew or is that new learning? We should write that down because that's new learning. So let's put that up there. Spouting is when the water shoots up. Spouting is when the water shoots up. Can you put that up there for us? That's what they do when they come up for air. A whale is breathing out and in. That's the hole that you were talking about. But is there some new learning that we could add about the hole? It's called a... It's called a what? Blowhole. It's called a blowhole. So did we have the word blowhole up there? No, no. no, we did not. So I'm going to put that up there. Blow hole. That would be what? The hole. That would be new. Can you put that up there? That would be new learning. We're going to read one more page together. What should you be thinking about? Two things when we read the new page together. <coughs> Two things we should be thinking about. What's the first thing? Say it out loud with me. What's the first thing we should be thinking about when we're reading the page? What we already know. And then anything that is different is what? New learning. We're going to be thinking about what we already know, and we're going to be paying attention to, in our brains, anything that's new. Are you ready to do that? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to read the whole thing, and then I'm going to have you guys talk about that. 